Welcome back, welcome back. I am your host, Majestic Quinn 444. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram or TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. I hope everybody is doing okay. It's um stress free Thursday. <laughs> um, but yes, I am your girl, um, Majestic Quinn 444. Um, you can add me on Instagram or TikTok, Miss One of a Kind. Um, I already pulled a couple cards. We um for starters, I'm here doing the general zodiac sign reader, so it could be any placement in your chart um, between the elements, earth, air, water, and fire. Um, we'll pull some uh, um, cards. We'll pull some cards um, as well as um, some zodiac signs, and then we'll pull from the tarot and um, the ha my handmade deck as well. Um, so again, please, if this resonates, that is great. If it doesn't. Um, there are other videos you can check out, but don't make it fit if it doesn't. <laughs> um, everybody can't be Cinderella, you know, but, um, I did already pull some cards here. Um, I got King of Pentacles so far, um, as well as the World card um, and King of Wands. King of Wands and the bottom of the deck we had the lovers. This is our overall energy, which is obviously talking about some type of commitment, relationship, bond, um, something that's divine. As you can see up here, we got the angel and the two people, you know, divinely guided in this situation. So well let's see. Let's see here. Whoever you might be that need to hear this. Um, hope your ears are open and your eyes is uh, front and center. <laughs> but let's start with, uh, again, King of Pentacles. This here is like that big zaddy energy. You know, the good provider. Um, somebody that is there for you, um, you know, through thick and thin, you know, through the ups and downs, two to two on the clock. Um, but it symbolized uh, success in the 3d um financial um wealth as well as abundance um he is a great provider as well as um like i said big daddy energy somebody that's there for you you know he is somebody is will provide as much as possible for you i mean um or this is you you know you could be in this uh, energy Whoever you might be, I love these cards. I'm so sorry. But I love these cards and the way it's like made and all of that pretty stuff. But anyways, um, King of Pentacles, yes. Big Zaddy Energy, he's coming or you already here. Uh, take what resonates if it's for somebody. Um, either in that energy or you're dealing with somebody in that energy. King of Pentacles. Um, then we have the World card. We got the World card. This symbolize um, wholeness, achievement, completion, um, of a long-term project, um, as well as guaranteed success. You got the whole world in your hand, two, three o'clock, two, two, three. <laughs> um, but then here we got the King of Wands. This is more so player energy. This person is usually married and, you know, just doing his own thing with his wand there. <laughs> but it's more so player energy. Um... What I'm seeing right now, and then we got the lover's card. To be honest, I believe that somebody has some type of choice. Um, even though that's not here, but that's what I'm feeling. I feel like somebody got a choice between the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands um, energy. And you could, you know, have the world. You can, you can have the world with these people if you just choose. You know, I believe you can't have both. I don't think we can have both here. I think you're supposed to be choosing. Or it could just be the same person embodying different energies. The King of Pentacles and King of Wands energy. Um, take what resonates. Um, but, and King of Pentacles resonates with Taurus. And uh, King of Wands is like Leo energy. Sagittarius Aries Leo. Uh, King of Pentacles like Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um but yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Somebody 
either need to choose or you're dealing with somebody that want to give you the world. Like I said, the lover card is at the bottom of the deck. This person wants to give you the world. Like I said, it's divinely guided. Um, this person could be um, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, um, or have their any placement in their charts. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Or they can be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. Sun, Moon, or Rising. Um, but this person, you have the lover's card in the world. This is a divinely guided situation. It's divinely guided the world. And then we got the divine here is this couple. It's divinely guided in this situation. Um, but I'm also seeing here we got the tower as well, which doesn't mean bad. It's just like an upheaval in your life. Five, five, five on the clock. So there's change, a big change. Um, we have some conflict, some despair, the five of cups, the emperor, the devil. Yeah, the queen of wands, the queen of cups. Oh my goodness, it's that, that's, that's a lot. It's, it's, it's probably, yeah, it's either some conflict between this choice. Somebody here got to make a choice and somebody going to be, it's going to be some conflict. Because this is what I'm seeing here, the tower, right? The big boom, the big change, 555. And the five of um, the five of swords is conflict. You know, some conflict, you know, pain, ready for battle. But then we got somebody here that's in despair. You know, we see how they're looking at them three cups when they got two behind them, you know. They're not really focused on what they have. Um, they focus on what they had. So you could be dealing with somebody with those placements, um, uh, air signs and fire sign placement that is not really focused on what you guys have at the moment. They're really focused on what they had in the past. Yeah. This is what I'm seeing. Okay, okay. So, yeah, we got King of Pentacles, the world, King of Wands, and that lover's card is the overall energy here. Yeah, it's going to be some conflict. It's going to be some conflict, despair, change. Somebody got to make a choice. They got to make a choice. You got to make a choice between the King of Pentacles or the King of Wands. Or this is the same person that's embodying and they're planning to give you the world. Um, because they love you. They love you. It was divinely guided. Um, but this is what I'm seeing for the tarot. Um, yeah, this is what I'm seeing. So let's pull some signs here. See what we get. Let's pull some signs. Who we're dealing with besides the ones that I called. Um, let's see. Okay. Yes. Got... Okay. What else we got? We do three more, four more, four. Cancer. So we got cancer. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Libra, or Virgo. Like I said, um, that King of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo um, energy. That Cancer, Libra out here could be dealing with. Um, really cool. We're gonna pull. Um, oh, something already came out. Spring. Spring could be significant in the situation. Either you met this person or something is planning to happen in the spring. Um, could be possibly with um, you know, someone significant, friend, lover. But as I'm seeing it, this is a divine union that's coming into play. A divine union that's coming into play. Um, all right, I don't know if I'm going to post this. This is like... I'm trying 
to do more longer readings, more in-depth readings for you guys. But what do we got here? Yeah, hurt people, hurt people. Something happened. That's what I'm saying with this despair. Something happened. The person, um, well, we know what happened. It's a tower moment. Tower moment shook something up between these lovers, caused some conflict. And now somebody's in despair. Whether it's um, the person that you had to choose from or um, hurt people, hurt people, though. But somebody had to make some type of choice um, to, you know, leave this person, be with this person, whatever it might be. But there was a shakeup, there was some conflict, and there was some despair um, regarding this King of Pentacles and the King of Wands. This King of Wands and this King of Pentacles. Again, this could be the same energy, same person. You take a resonate. So I feel in my heart, um, and from what I'm getting here from spirit, is that somebody had to choose, and they chose what they chose, and it caused a tower moment. Um, it caused some conflict. It caused conflict here, and um, some despair. Some despair and somebody's looking at all these cups that they spilt, but not looking at what they had behind them. This could be a, a situation where somebody didn't notice what they had in front of them until it was gone, you know. But they do have something, you know, they have something, but it's not what they had. So I'm seeing it, like I said, a couple ways. Somebody that lost somebody because they didn't pay attention to what they had in front of them. And that's where that tower moment hit. Um... Um, but they chose, they, um, they chose what they chose the, with the lover's card, um, here because it was a divinely guided situation. So they chose what they chose and the other person really wasn't with it is what I'm hearing. I'm not with it. I'm not with it. Somebody not with it, but, um, yeah, we'll get one more from this deck and then we'll try another deck. What's that? New moon. Something happened on the new moon. That's probably when the tower occurred, from what I'm seeing. The tower hit during the, the new moon, and it could have been the blood, the blood moon. Hmm. And it caused some type of despair during this new moon. Uh, some type of conflict regarding uh, this tower moment during the new moon during the new moon um, right, let's get the other thing here okay right let's get the other deck all right we'll get some messages um from the person you know that you chose or didn't chose you or you chose someone else over them take a resonate um but something happened you know either this union is about to come together and somebody had to choose or um god is removing some people to make this union happen and people not really liking it making some things like i said doing a um doing a shake up doing a shake up boom tower moments you know you see all them people falling off this tower Somebody ain't gonna make it. That's why it's conflict. Somebody is upset about the situation. They is in despair because they was, they had what they had and they lost it. Um, and now to now look like Big Daddy energy is um coming in, coming in with the lovers card. It could have been this player energy here. Somebody was dealing with a player energy, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, that um didn't know what they had and. They are being divinely guided to their counterpart. They are being divided, divinely guided to who they are meant to be with and have the world with. The world with. Somebody is being divinely guided somewhere. Um, but yes, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing this. Um, that's what I'm seeing. All right, spirit. 
see what we got. Let's see what we got. I'm trying to at least get to like 20, 25 minutes. I want to see. I'm trying to push myself. Let's see what we got. There's something you should know. Yeah, there's something you should know. What should you know? What should they know, spirit? Oh, shit. That nobody gets me like you do. That, that was that player energy. That's exactly what I'm feeling. That player energy. Nobody gets me like you do. Um, that's why it's conflict. It's conflict. But you were sleeping with the enemy the whole time. That player energy. Whether it was you or you, somebody else towards you. You know, whoever this might be. Um, but like I said, um, this, it's... It doesn't really, um, it really doesn't matter about the signs here. But like I said, I was definitely seen towards Capricorn Virgo. Pretty much everything is out here. But if it resonates, that's it's your situation. But um, don't make it fit if it doesn't. Um, but this is what I'm seeing. So please, please um, take what resonates, my people. Um, I might be sleeping with the enemy. I might be sleeping with the enemy. Um, like I said, it could have been somebody was sleeping with some type of player energy that is currently just hit the tower moment. Something happened, tower moment hits in a situation or a situation with you caused conflict. Somebody is in despair um, because now this union is coming in with the King of Pentacles, the Lover's Card, and the World. Somebody is being divinely guided to their partner to, um, towards Capricorn and Virgo energy. Uh -oh. Somebody is being divinely guided. Somebody is sleeping with the enemy. You know what I'm hearing right now? I'm hearing that um, nobody's supposed to be here. I tried it for the, for the last time. My heart says no, no. This is what I'm hearing right now. No, no. So, yes, yeah, signs really don't matter in this situation. When you see it, it's for you. Um, but this is what I'm seeing. I really hope that it resonates. Oop, I wanted to get one more for telling me. Um, yeah, somebody's saying you bring out the best in them. Um, you make them feel young again. Let's get one more. Let's get one more for the tarot deck. Let's see, let's see, let's see. One more for the tarot deck. One more for the tarot deck. Alright. Alright. I ain't getting enough of the good energy. And call it all out. <laughs> These cards are super new, like not even three days old. Bear with me. What we got? Justice. Justice. Somebody is getting justice. Yes, and it's on its way. This is communication. This is communication coming in fast. What I say, y'all? Somebody had to make a decision. They had to make a decision. Yes. I am, my God. If I'm lying, I'm fine. Look, look, somebody is juggling. And they had to make a decision. This is crazy. Some told me just keep fooling. But I said it. Somebody got to make a decision. Yes, if possibly was this King of Wands energy. That player energy, you know. It's time to get out of that, whether that's you or someone else. And they lost, they lost somebody that they really cared about. Um, they lost somebody. The tower hit, and it caused conflict. Um, it caused despair because this person is gone because they were too with those blindfolds on. Whoever this King of Wands energy is, their blindfolds were on, not making a decision. They decide to juggle 
Um, but communication is coming in and you will be getting justice. Justice. Look at this. And the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of freaking Pentacles. You are getting your wish fulfillment. Your happy ever after. Ten of Pentacles. We got the King of, Pen King of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Lovers. World card. It's all coming together. Look at this. You got King of Pentacles. Right? Your, your almighty shining armor. The lovers card. This was divinely guided. Look it. Of the divinely guiding these two people to have the world. Communication is coming in with the justice and your ten of pentacles. Somebody is getting this ten of pentacles due to somebody possibly juggling them, not making a decision. And it possibly was a king of pentacles that is currently um, in despair and conflict because the tower was hit. This is what I'm seeing. And this person is saying, you bring out the best in me. You make me feel young again. But I don't really know what that's going to do because they juggled. They didn't make a decision um, whatever for that, whatever reason that might be. Um, so you're just telling me to keep going because this energy is not bad. It's not bad energy. It's not um, It's not toxic. It's not negative. I'm, I'm liking it. It's, um, but I'm just going to get one more, one more. I'm going to share it one more. One more for the collection. One more for the collection. It took, um, it took our relationship. I took our relationship as my whole world and you took it for gamble. Exactly. That King of Wands energy gambled it. Gambled the relationship. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, they gambled. They gambled this situation. They did not make a decision. Like I said, they did not make a decision. They didn't make a decision. This King of Wands, they, didn't, they had a choice to make. And they didn't. It was blindfold. They didn't know what to do. But they gambled you. And they choose to juggle you. And they got hit with the tower. Um, they were in conflict. And despair. Who are you? That's what I want to know. Who are you? That's your energy. And I know the collective energy that I'm um, picking up on spirit. That's what I want to know. Who is this person? Who are you? <laughs> That's what I want to know. What's your energy? Who are you? Who do you define as? Let's see. Who are you? Who are you? Somebody see you. Somebody left out in the cold. See, I keep picking up this King of Wands energy. Look, he heartbroken. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm lying, I'm dying. Because of a King of Swords, um, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This King of Wands, something something happened with um a King of Wands, uh, King of Swords. Or this is thoughts too, because swords is some thoughts, and there's more thoughts, you know. But what I'm saying is, they possibly was in a situation they juggled you with um a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that part broke their heart. They chose wrong, and they was left out in the cold by this person. This King of Wands energy, while you are receiving your justice. Um, with your king of pentacles, you got communication coming in about this justice. Um, either this person is trying to give you this just, justice, like I said, that king of wands and that uh, king of pentacles could be the same energy that could be based on moralizing. Um, but I keep picking up on that energy. Oh my gosh. Um, 
But yeah, this is what I'm seeing. Oh my gosh, get yeah, Leo. I am not. Could be a Leo. Could be a Leo. Pisces. Leo Pisces. Scorpio. Leo Pisces Scorpio. Or more. They didn't choose. So they was hurt by a King of Swords. So this is what I'm seeing. Um, I try to make it to 30. Um, yeah. I'm trying to get to 40 if I can. Keep touching myself. Um, this is like one of my long videos. But what else do we have? What else can I pick up on? Um, that's, uh, that situation. That was kind of heavy. Um, I was somebody going through that because they didn't make the right choice or whatever. Um, but what's meant for you is going to be for you. It's not going to miss you. It's not going to miss you. Whatever opportunity you thought you missed, um, you didn't miss nothing. Um, projection is God's protection. So that's how I look at it. Exactly. Ace of Pentacles. Rejection is God's protection. Um, so, um, I think that's about it for me. <laughs> this was pretty cool. Um, I am your host. Um, Y'all can like, subscribe to my channel. Um, follow me on Instagram, TikTok. Miss one of a kind. Next time I hug you, I probably won't let you go for a long time. This person is thinking about you. They're thinking about you. Before they close their eyes at night. They are probably in deep regret. But they lost out on someone like you. But it's okay, baby. It's going to be alright. What's meant for you is for you. And it will not miss you. It will not pass by you. God is not going to let it. He will move mountains. He will. I am not an average person. This person or you. Somebody saying they're not average. But um, yeah, this it's it didn't you didn't miss nothing, sweetheart. Um, whether this is you or you on the um, receiving or um, you're on the receiving end of the situation. Um, but my advice, spirit's advice right now is keep your head up, um, pray about everything, don't worry about nothing, and um, yeah, blessings on y'all journey. Um, it's been nice. Again, I am your host, Majestic Quinn, 444. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram or TikTok. Miss one of a kind. I hope y'all enjoy y'all night. Um, the weekend is coming up. So, um, y'all stay safe. And uh, I'm out of here. Have a good night.